you we got a Karen on the golf course right now. I'm gonna take your clubs. Then leave. I'm not getting a fight on a golf course. Then I'm leave. Golf I'm gonna stand here and you can complain. Goodbye. I'm not complaining. You're the one. No, you're the one that approached me and I asked you to no longer speak. You took her ball. Please don't speak to me. We're coming over here. You, you took her ball. Bro, you took her ball. Dude, I'm not gonna fight you over a If you need money for her golf balls. I'm going to, Walter. Because I'll plant you, bitch boy. Now get the f off the cart. Walter. Walter? Walter. Oh, here we go. You see that? Oh. That's what you look been to heaven, bitch, and you want to test God? You can come get it. Stack. Okay, he's mentally ill. Uh, what's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and a Royal Rumble cage match almost broke out on the 13th hole as the Ultimate Warrior wannabe flew off the handle and threatened to body slam a group of golfers. The Jackaloon snatched up another party's ball that landed kind of close to him and wouldn't give it back, causing a scene. You think I'm mentally ill? It is her doing some The group of people who were on a golf cart confronted the man over his ball grabbing, but he blew up on them. For the record, the group's ball did not hit the moron or damage any of his equipment. One might ask, who's right in this situation? The group on the cart or the ball-stealing jackaloon? There are rules in golf that apply to players who intentionally hit other players or their property, but that was not the case in this situation. The group was playing through and were obviously frustrated that someone picked up their ball. That is a big no-no. Their ball was taken out of play and their game was interrupted. Golfing rules allow for the accidental movement of a ball due to wind or being hit by another ball, but not by crazy players. Hitting a golf ball is kind of like operating a motor vehicle when it comes to a liability. If you dent someone's door or scratch their vehicle, it's your ethical responsibility to notify the other person. But if you didn't cause any damage, you're not liable. Damages happen all the time and lawsuits have been filed by homeowners whose homes or property has been damaged by balls or by individuals who have had loss to property. The man was being unreasonable though. His ego was so hurt by the group that his veins started bulging and he snapped into a fit of rage. He peeled his shirt off and yelled, this is a man that's been to heaven, so if you want to test God, then come get it. His scrawny pale body was accented by the little pot belly. His skin was white and his neck was red and he kind of looked like the starfish from that SpongeBob cartoon. He acted like a house Republican that just got shut down with facts. What causes someone to act so stupid in the face of emotion? He didn't even get hit. What's he crying about? The clip cut out before we could hear what the guy on the cart told him. He probably told him that he needed to do some sit-ups or some push-ups. This clown is an ankle biter that would have probably gotten roughed up like a narc at a biker rally if it came down to it. What an absolute moron. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.